Boston Red Sox had a statement making game last night, one that included a history making moment. <laughs> What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Red Seat Radio. My name is Corbin. The Red Sox officially split their quick two-game series against the Atlanta Braves, one game to one, after winning last night's game and gaining back control of third place in the AL East. Now, normally in these videos, we break down an entire series, but we're not going to do that today. Instead, we're going to focus on one game. The reason for this is, one, Nick Pavetta made it really easy to not talk about the first game, and two, the Red Sox in the second game had so much going on that it deserves its own video. So, what we're going to do in today's video is we're going to break down the Red Sox game last night. We're going to talk about what statements were made, why this game was important, and of course, we're going to talk about how our closer made history just a month into his Red Sox career. But before we get into that, summer is coming up, and if you want some unique and exciting Red Sox apparel, look no further than FOCO. FOCO's got you covered. They have awesome Hawaiian shirts, summer hats, bathing suits, sandals, and really anything you need for the summer months with an added Red Sox twist and for members of this channel and this channel only you get 10% off the entire FOCO store by using code red seat radio all one word again red seat radio one word so get yourself 10% off some really exciting Red Sox apparel now by going to foco.com or clicking the link in the description as always thank you to FOCO for sponsoring this video and thank you for clicking on this one let's get into it Okay, so I think the best way to break down yesterday's game is to go from the beginning and where we're going to start is with the starting pitcher. Brian Bale got the ball in the second game of this series and in my opinion, he had one of the best starts of his career. He ended up going six innings, allowing just two earned runs on six total hits. He struck out five and only walked one singular batter. But what was most impressive to me in this Brian Bale start is that he looked like a genuine seasoned veteran on the mound. And what I mean by this is there were some tricky situations that he would put himself in during this game. There were times where there was a runner on third and second with two outs. There were times where there was a runner on first and second with no outs. And he was able to get out of those situations calm and collected. That's not something you normally see from a 23-year-old pitcher. For him to go out there and mentally win this game is huge for this Red Sox team. Brian Bayo now becomes the lowest ERA on the Boston Red Sox. Still a bit over five, but it is coming down very quickly over his last couple of starts. And he is settling in into this starter role very nicely for this Red Sox team. Not to mention, this is simply a youth movement on the Red Sox right now. Again, Brian Bale is a 23-year-old pitcher who just silenced, essentially silenced outside of one bad pitch to Acuna that went like 470 feet and a pretty unlucky hit later in the game as well. Outside of that, you were looking at dominance from Brian Bayo, and you were looking at it from a 23-year-old kid who was able to essentially dominate one of, if not the best overall lineup in Major League Baseball. And speaking of youth and speaking of young players on this Red Sox team, the offense was kind of all centered around youth as well. Jaron Duran was a main piece of this Red Sox win last night. He went two for three at the plate with a walk, a double, an RBI bloop single, and a stolen bait. He was a menace all around in pretty much every way you could possibly imagine. Jaron Duran has played a huge factor in the wins for the Red Sox lately, and this game just sort of was on track for what Jaron Duran has been doing lately for this Red Sox team. The other big part of this Red Sox win was Tristan Casas, who went one for three with a walk, but he crushed an absolute moonshot for insurance runs in the ninth inning of last night game. This ball went 442 feet. This ball was absolutely crushed by Tristan Casas. We knew he had power and he put it on full display last night. Now, in terms of what statements were made last night, I think there were two. The first one is that this Red Sox team can go toe to toe with just about anyone in Major League Baseball, right? The Atlanta Braves have the second best record in all of baseball. They're the best team in the NL. They're the most powerful offense in Major League Baseball, and in this game, the Red Sox were able to shut down their offense pretty well, and they were able to score runs against a bullpen who have some of the best relievers in Major League Baseball, right? Tristan Casas hit that home run off of Rysel Iglesias, who is one of the best closers in Major League Baseball last year. This is a guy who is really hard to hit off of, and yes, he's coming back from injury, and yes, the Red Sox beat them in a bullpen game, but you're still beating teams like the Braves in pretty dominant fashion. So that is the first takeaway 
from this series that is the first statement made by the red sox is that hey look we can compete with these high high level teams the second is that the core youth of this red sox team has been a major factor as to why the boston red sox have been successful this year right and that was really highlighted in this game brian bayo a second year essentially rookie pitcher shutting down the braves offense jaron duran a struggling young player who's been really great this year being a huge momentum shifter for this red sox team in this game and tristan casas a rookie giving you your insurance runs now the youth movement has been going on for a while with this red sox team but i think this game really highlights just how important the young kids on this team really are and i think their success has a lot to do with the culture in this red sox clubhouse right now they're in a culture where they're given opportunities to succeed they're supported in those opportunities to succeed right tristan casas could have very easily been sent down to triple a with the way he started this year but the red sox are sticking with them and they're starting to see the results and that is absolutely fantastic news because the core of this red sox team is mostly young players right now that are going to be around for a little bit so to see the youth movement really take over in this red sox game was a statement all in its own and obviously this game ended in fireworks so let's talk about how the red sox closer made history last night for those of you who do not know, last night's game ended on an absolutely fantastic note with Kenley Jansen getting his 400th save of his career. Only six other players in Major League Baseball have more than 400 saves and Kenley Jansen becomes the seventh player in Major League history to get to 400 career saves. Just an absolutely fantastic moment for our new Red Sox closer and for a guy who is one of the best closers in baseball history. But last night's save was electric and it wasn't just because of the monumental moment moment for Kenley Jansen and what it meant for him in Major League Baseball, but also because of the way he was getting there. Now, we've seen an uptick in Kenley Jansen's velocity compared to last year, almost the entire year, right? He, when he is fully healthy and going well, we were seeing 97 miles an hour from Kenley, something we had not seen in year. But last night, he took it to an absolutely new level. He topped out at 98.7 miles an hour, which is the fastest pitch he's thrown all year, the ninth fastest pitch he's thrown in his entire career, and the highest velocity pitch he has thrown since 2014. There were some concerns about Kenley Jansen coming into the 2023 season. How is he going to adjust to the pitch clock? He's getting older. How is his velocity going to play still as a closer in Major League Baseball? Because last year was sitting around 93, 94 miles an hour. For him to come in and silence essentially all doubt surrounding him and really prove that, hey, I could still be a dominant closer in Major League Baseball is absolutely fantastic for the Boston Red Sox. He truly has been one of the biggest reasons why this Red Sox team has been successful up until this point in the season. And if he continues to do this, he's going to be a major reason why the Boston Red Sox are successful all season long. So Kenley Jansen made history last night, but he made history in a way that he has not done since 2014, which is fantastic news overall last night's game was a statement in many ways it made history and it was one of the most fun games to watch as a red sox fan in a very long time let me know in the comment section down below what did you think of last night's game what did you think of the statements made by this red sox team what did you think of kenley getting to 400 and what do you think of this red sox team coming back to boston to play their first series against the st louis cardinals this year let me know all your thoughts on the current state of the boston red sox in the comment section down below as always if you made it to the end of this video do me a favor make sure you guys have hit that subscribe button if you haven't already if you're new here we talk red Sox content almost every single day also make sure you guys hit the like button as well helps these videos out a ton and it would mean a lot to me don't forget 10 percent off the entire site at foco.com with code red seat radio all one word red seat radio thank you all very much for clicking on this one and i will see you in the red seats